we love music and uh, we still play for the same reason that we when we started out your music has been part of my life and the lives of so many people that i know and how does it feel to kind of have this incredible legacy well it feels good of course um we love music and uh, we still play for the same reason that we when we started out which was the love of music and um I mean it's it's a really privilege it's it's a big privilege and it makes us very proud uh, to have a legacy like that your music is extremely popular in asia and you have this massive fan following how does it how did it feel when you kind of realized wow all these asian people love our music was it confusing was it interesting for you in the beginning it was just really weird and and very very surprising in the very beginning but very fast we went to asia we went there a lot we traveled there so much in the 90s and we came to all countries in asia we got to know the asian people and asian culture and the countries there and and very fast actually within a very few years we felt like asia was our second home and we felt completely at home when we were there and and we still do we still travel to asia all the time and and now it's just become become uh basically the, a place we we love to go and and we love to meet our fans there and see the see their you know their how they experience our music and 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 the interaction we can have with people there are just amazing so so now it's just uh wonderful to have this connection with the asian people i also read an interesting fact about how your the name of your group was created there was there was no real uh, thought behind it it was kind of a random thing right it was very <laughs> suddenly um i think we had been playing together for 3 months uh we started back in march 1988 and uh, there was this competition in our town Aarhus it was called and it was a big contest uh competition contest and uh we uh, we recorded three or four songs and and we needed a name and i think yashi came up with the name and he just wrote it on the cassette and sent it to the contest and then we won we won the contest so we thought it was too late to change the name have there been any performances that really in in your career that really stand out i think we all remember uh, the show we had in shillong in north eastern india oh wow okay yeah back in 2005 or something like that it was just amazing a very small city and a lot of people <laughs> there were so many people in a big cricket stadium up there and and it was raining all the time and people were just completely didn't care about it, it was raining they just had mm. the biggest party and the, it was an amazing crowd and just the, the the feeling of of traveling so far up in the mountains to this small the quite small city and performing in front of all these very happy people i think that was amazing it, it really was mm-hmm.